so what? You can now take a trip to the moon from the comfort of your office or your couch. NASA has unveiled a new virtual tour of the moon, similar to Google's ventures to the Grand Canyon and Polar Bear City. Local 15 web content specialist Taryn Reed has more on how you can get to the moon. Do I have to wear moon boots? You can wear whatever you like. It's the moon. <laughs> you know. right. So NASA has created its first ever interactive map of the lunar North Pole. It includes more than 10,000 different photos all put together. Here's a photo from tech website Mashable. NASA used two cameras on its lunar reconnaissance orbiter to take this photo. Now to give you an idea of how big this photo really is, it would take up the space of a regulation U.S. football field if you printed it out. So once you're on the site, users can zoom in and zoom out, virtually exploring the moon. Thumbnails are pre-programmed to bring you the specific points of interest, like craters and impact sites. A NASA scientist who worked on the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter said, quote, This unique image is a tremendous resource for scientists and the public alike. Folks over at NASA have been working to map the surface of the moon since 2009. I posted a link to learn more on our website about this virtual tour. Just check out the Find It section. So we're going to the moon. Let's do it. We could get moon boots. <laughs> all the cool kids are wearing right. them. All the cool kids. I had moon shoes when I was younger. Did you ever I have I had them? moon boots, yes. Yeah. Absolutely. I even put my initials on them because sometimes <laughs> they look the left look like it was the right. Pull them out and let's go to the moon. I think it's good. I think it's fun. You know, Anything fun that makes science so cool is, is yes. refreshing because mm -hmm. we are we know that you know our kids are so into video games and things like that. Right. But yeah, that's real stuff. It is. You're awesome. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, C. Reed.